Hey guys, what's up? My name is Birdies. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to play in trios and just some general tips and strategies for when you have two partners. My personal goal for this video is that it's helpful enough for you to be able to send to your friends. We're gonna jump right into the video, but I just wanna say first, these are not the only strategies you need to use in order to win matches. At the end of the day, Hunt Showdown is a video game, so whatever's the most fun for you is how you should play. But if you wanna win, then keep watching. Okay, let's get some obvious stuff right out of the way. Nothing will help you more than experience and your own accuracy. These things take time and practice, so just keep playing, and I know that is the most general and obvious stuff, but I feel like we should just get it out of the way now. Now starting at the first thing you need to do when playing in a trio, and that's knowing your loadout. Truth be told, almost any setup will work. Things like triple long ammo, triple compact ammo, two wind fields and a shotgun, a shotgun and two wind fields, it'll almost all work. It's not so much about what loadouts you and your friends bring, but more about knowing how to play together with the different loadouts. We'll talk about that in just a second, but let's go over some things not to bring. If you really want to win, I don't recommend going things like three shotguns or three single shot rifles necessarily. And speaking from experience, do not do this. I like this little loadout. I might go ahead and just bring an axe also, just say fuck it. I mean, I am. I have no other uses for that. There we go. Yep. I can't believe he headshot. No way! Go, 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 go. <laughs> same thing, bro. Same thing to me. But you, you actually serious? Did... Yeah, dude. You did this. And I was like, I fucking got him. I turned... And then I turned the corner and follow him. He fucking whacked me in the head. I was like, well, you played the reverse Uno card on me. <laughs> <laughs> You also need to know the range limits for your weapon, and you want to always play to your advantage. For example, if you have three long ammo rifles and you're fighting people with, like, windfields, you want to hold the distance and be able to get the most out of your loadout. This is why I say playing to your loadout strengths is better than having a god to your loadout you don't know how to use. Let's get on to the next topic, and that's positioning. Recently, I've been using shotguns while my two buddies bring regular rifles. In this scenario, it's my job to sneak in and close the distance while they take shots from afar. Their suppressive fire works in my favor for me to be able to get up close and take targets out. Or in some cases, one of my teammates is dead, while the other is, let's say, 65 meters away with no angle on the enemies. So when that happens, I'll just have to take care of business by myself. Positioning is such a huge part of trios, it's actually insane. In most cases, teams who have the better angles and stay in their weapon's strong areas will win the fight. The key to having good positioning for almost every fight is to play spread out. If you and your team are running compound to compound on top of each other, you are already at a disadvantage if a fight breaks out. If you're all stacked together, let's say within like five meters of each other, you will all have to disperse and each find cover, or even worse, all of you will be pinned down behind the same piece of cover. Both of those scenarios can easily be avoided. All you have to do is separate. The three easiest formations are either the forward point triangle, the wide moving uh, line, or the reverse triangle point. And yes, I might have just now came up with those names. But seriously, I guarantee if you separate and start running in one of those formations, you will have an easier time with fights. And an easier time with fights means you get to loot more bodies. And more loot is always good, so I recommend killing meatheads. I want you to kill so many meatheads that one day, a meathead will come back to life and leave you with an ominous message. Oh my god, there's another meathead. Hey, he dropped something. Whoever's ah! the owner of the white sedan, you left your lights on. Why is he- Oh. You have no idea how many times I've tried to write that into the script. And with all those attempts, that is what I came up with. So if that doesn't make you want to subscribe, I don't know what will. I don't. I feel like these topics go hand in hand, so we'll talk about them together. Whether you're taking over a compound or holding down a compound, you need a plan. All of this depends on one, what compound you're at, two, what weapons you brought in, and three, what consumables you have. Let's start with defending a compound. Now I can't tell you exactly what to do because one, I don't know what compound you're at, and two, I don't know what weapons you brought in, and three, I don't know what consumables you have. But for overall general defending techniques, I recommend having one to two players to be in a separate nearby building away from the boss lair. This gives you and your team more angles to work with. And of course, if any of you brought traps, Make sure you put those up while your team is fighting the boss and tell them where you placed them at. This tip goes for all of Hunt, but is especially useful in trios. 
and that is to ping enemies all the time. When you're defending and one person has an angle on someone but your teammates don't, pinging out an enemy lets your teammates know where to rotate to. And rotations are how you defend compounds. Also a lot of times in trios, the teams attacking the compound will more than likely attack each other before pushing in. Use this to your advantage and pick off the other teams while they're distracted. Now on the flip side, when you're attacking a compound, things get a little spicier. When you roll up to the compound, you should already be in one of your formations. My personal favorite is the forward facing quarter slice of pizza formation, or the forward point triangle for short. When attacking, you want to scope the place out and usually come in with a bit of stealth. Once you can locate the teams on the outside of the compound, you can begin rotating from there. I usually recommend killing the other teams before going for the bounty team. You never want to get shot in the back while you're sieging a building. Let's say you don't die and instead are able to kill the team on the outside. Now it's time to switch focus. One thing I don't see people do enough is literally rotating around the building and taking a crazy amount of shots from different angles. Rotating around the building will more than likely make the team on the inside use up all their dark sight trying to locate your team. Another thing you need to do is flush out the enemies on the inside by using your explosives. And I don't mean just randomly throwing nades into the building, but instead use an educated guess. If you do this right, you could free up different angles and give yourself the chance to rush in. Um, so before we wrap this up, I have a few more tips that I would like to give to you guys. The first being to bring choke bombs. This is a pretty standard tip for Hunt in general, but I feel like body burning in trios is a whole nother level. Which is fine, it's just part of the mode. Another tip goes for the teams that run one person on shotgun or crossbow, while the other two have regular rifles. But basically the tip is to try and avoid giving the people with a close range weapon the bounty. Doing this allows them to get closer to the other teams, without the other teams being able to track you with the lightning bolts. This is at least the philosophy that my friends and I use, and we have pretty good luck with it. The last two tips I have for you are, at the start of the match, send one person to a separate compound. This allows your team to gather clues and locate enemies faster, which ties into the last tip. Take on fights. Go out of your way to track people down and fight. This will give your team more practice and allow you all to sink in your playstyles better. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or tips of your own, please leave them in the comments and we'll have a discussion. If this video was helpful for you, if you could just please leave a like, it helps me out so much, especially with the YouTube algorithm. And overall, if you can just let me know what you thought of this video, I tried a few new things and hopefully they worked out as planned. I'm gonna be streaming at some point today, which is June 18th. Um, so if you wanna hop by and say hi, I'd really appreciate it. But uh, I think that's about it. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.